The state of Maine has one of this country's least severe coronavirus outbreaks. So far, a total of only 53 people have died. As of Tuesday, according to the state's health department, there were a grand total of 33 people in the state in hospitals with coronavirus. That's out of a population of 1.3 million people. And according to new information flowing in from scientists around the world, we can be confident the state will not collapse if it does open back up. And that would be a pretty good idea at this point, since one in every seven people in the state of Maine is now unemployed. That's all thanks to Governor Janet Mills. She's just ordered the state to remain closed indefinitely. Rick Savage has had enough of this. He owns a restaurant in Bethel, Maine. I should just say at the outset that during the course of this last couple of months, you gave away over 10,000 meals to people in your community for free. So it's not like you're not engaged with the people around you. You are. You're planning to open up tomorrow. That's illegal in the state of Maine. Well, the order originally started, it was May 1st. So we were gearing up for that. We, um, did what we were supposed to do. We closed for six weeks. We cooked for the community. We went right through our whole restaurant, remodeled it, cleaned it, and it's time to open back up. We're encouraging all businesses in Maine to open up. We should have never been shut down in the first place. We need to open back up, get this summer tourist business going, or we're going to lose a third of our restaurants, who knows how many motels and other businesses. So we're advocating for everybody, not just for my restaurant. It's time to go back to work. What do you think the authorities, Janet Mills, will do I don't think anything's going to happen because she's over her head. She's not consulting the experts. She's just doing this to break our state even more than we are right now. We're broke. We were broke before this. She spent our rainy day fund two months into being in office. So she's trying to get federal money from, this, from the government to bail her out. So if she makes the state look like we're broke, she's going to get more federal money. And she doesn't care about the people in the state of Maine. If she did, she'd be reaching out to these businesses. Yeah. There is relief tonight across San Diego after mixed messages from Sacramento indicated all beaches could be closed in the state. As News 8's Lamar Abrams reports tonight, the announcement is instead paving the way for more local beaches to reopen. Here in Del Mar, the beach was supposed to reopen today. Instead, lifeguards sent surfers out of the water and city officials back to the table to come up with a new plan. Finally, we were going to be open today, and then I heard that wasn't the case. I was just blown away. It was a blow to their plans here in Del Mar, where the beach was slated to reopen Thursday. The city staff became very concerned, especially the lifeguards, about flip-flopping the message. Deputy we Mayor Terry Gasterlin says out. the city reversed course after the expected plan from Sacramento that would have shut down all California beaches. Governor Gavin Newsom instead restricting the order to just Orange County beaches. From some San Diego County supervisors writing Newsom a letter urging him to reconsider to Mayor Kevin Faulkner blasting the governor for sending the wrong message, saying he heard from a source that the original plan had been broader than Orange County, we later expressing right relief. Our beaches will remain open. While beaches across San Diego will remain open for recreation only, the cities of Carlsbad and Del Mar will meet Friday to come up with a revised plan. I strongly support finding a way to reopen access to the shoreline for the surfers, the runners, the walkers, and the swimmers. Yeah, big change of plans now for all the people who are enjoying those beaches. In fact, here in Del Mar, they were going to open uh, the beaches throughout the city of Del Mar today, and then they decided last night that is not going to happen after all, all in anticipation of the governor's announcement to close all California beaches and state parks.